Let's take a look to see what these have in common. These are all examples, some more normal than others, of heat being transferred and then released or radiated into the air. That's the job performed by your vehicle's cooling system. What is the cooling system and why is it important to the operation of your vehicle? Well, it's not the part of your vehicle that keeps it comfortable on a hot summer day. That would be the vehicle's air conditioner. Your vehicle's cooling system actually has more in common with those heating devices you see in some very old buildings called heat registers or radiators. In those buildings, the boiler in the basement transfers heat in the form of steam up to where it radiates warmth to a chilly room. But in a vehicle, it's not giving off needed heat to the radiator so much as it is getting rid of unwanted heat. In fact, the heart of your vehicle's cooling system is the radiator. And we've got Dr. John standing by to show you exactly what the radiator does and how it does it. Thanks, Denny. Well, this is where you'll find a radiator, and this is what it looks like. And here's how it works. In physics, you'll learn how the cooling system carries off the heat. A car's engine generates a lot of heat from the internal combustion that creates its energy. Unless that heat has somewhere to go, it will simply build up in your engine and cause severe damage to engine parts. The radiator transfers that heat out into the air, but in order to do that, the heat has to have a way of getting there. That's where the coolant, somewhat confusingly known as antifreeze, comes in. This fluid is a mixture of water, dye, and a chemical called glycol. Ethylene and propylene glycol not only help prohibit freezing, they also increase the fluid's boiling point and help transfer heat. As the hot coolant circulates through the radiator core, heat is conducted to the outer surface made up of hundreds of these aluminum fins and dissipated into the air. Now, as you can imagine, having a lot of water and glycol sitting inside a lot of metal with temperature extremes over time is a formula for corrosion. Now, your service technician can detect the amount of corrosion with these pH strips. Now, if the word corrosion doesn't cause you to stop and think, think of it as dissolved engine. Now, when the flow of this coolant in your radiator is choked off by a buildup of corrosive deposits, your engine will overheat, and that means you can burn up a lot of money with it. Thank you, John. And that's why you need to do three things regularly. Clean, flush, and replenish the cooling system so that it will continue to resist corrosion. And regularly, in this case, usually means about once every two years. The service center here can test your coolant for you to tell you if it needs to be serviced. Our cooling system service uses a power flushing feature to guarantee all the coolant is replaced with new. That's a distinct improvement over the old drain and refill procedure that left about half of the old used coolant still sitting in the engine. The cooling system service doesn't take long. Don't put it off. Because just like Old Faithful, when heat builds up, it will be released somewhere. And we would really like to avoid the possibility of you and your vehicle becoming a roadside attraction. So ask your service technician about the cooling system service today.